Welcome. Today, John will show you how to build a simple car rotisserie for the MGB. Just to review the car spit, I got two of these cheap Harbor Freight uh, or equivalent engine stands. You keep this plate, the screws, you don't need a little cylindrical spacers for it, any of that nonsense. I bolted that to a two by six, and then I got these two brackets. I think they come in a pack of a four, um, right off of Amazon. So just search on heavy duty brackets and you'll see them. I think they're 10 inches. You can get shorter ones. And actually right off the bat, I think it's this hole lines up directly with an existing hole in the frame. And then I think I drilled this hole to match up to another existing uh, frame hole in this frame here. Very simple, no welding, no nonsense. Piece of wood, so it's easy to manipulate and cut without needing metal tools. And we'll go back and look in the, uh, the rear end. So the rear is similar, another uh, cheap engine stand, bolted to a, in this case, a two by eight. And then I just literally used the um, bumper support, I guess is what it is, directly. I found a um, bolt that is the same thread, I forget what it is. It's a fine thread, something rather, 5 16 or something. And then I had to put in these spacers here just because uh, the body and the, the, the curvature of the body here. So you don't need a spacer. You might go a little more than mine. Mine's like the very minimum. So I don't know, I add another piece of plywood or something in here to get you that little bit more you need. And then spacers as required. I had to counter drill this hole here. There's my finger, counter drill this just to get everything right based on the length of the, the nuts and bolts you use in the spacers. But uh, again, very simple. Get to use wood instead of metal, which makes me happy and much easier to deal with. Uh, very cheap, inexpensive way to uh, Put your car on a rotisserie. Works like a champ. John wants me to point out that the attach points are in almost the exact center of revolution. The car rotates easily with one person and clears the ground when on its side. I just thought I would demonstrate the effort it takes to rotate the car based on the dimensions that I'm giving you at the end of this video. So if you keep the uh, mounts roughly where I'm telling you to do it, you'll have basically the center of gravity of the vehicle. So let me just undo it. That. And then notice that I can you know, very easily rotate this with one person, even when it's at its worst point, which is totally vertical. And if you want to go back to horizontal, it still moves relatively easy. So uh, there you have it. Some notes about designing the front mounting board. 
the main important dimension as I'm showing on this drawing is the 23 inches between the brackets. This should match the distance to the outsides of your MGB frame. Make sure to account for any undercoatings or anything that would uh, change this dimension and just obviously account for that when you're mounting the brackets to the frame and to the board. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. If you use the dimensions I'm showing, it should keep the MGB centered on the rotisserie. As with the first drawing, some notes about this rear mounting board is the spacer plates. I used regular inch and a half boards and the distance between the rear of the car and the main 2x8 is pretty small. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Drill and countersink your own holes uh, based on whatever hardware you purchase, meaning bolts and washers, that sort of thing. But you will be bolting directly to the bumper mounts on the vehicle. As with the front board, as long as you stay close to these dimensions, you should end up with a vehicle that is centered within the rotisserie and pretty horizontal or parallel to the ground. As with the first drawing, some notes about this rear mounting board is the spacer plates. I used regular inch and a half boards and the distance between the rear of the car and the main 2x8 is pretty small so you might make a thicker spacer board or add a piece of plywood between there just to increase the gap between the 2x8 and the rear of the car other than that it's pretty straightforward 